in this bulletin, 11 new cases taken into isolation. More COVID-19 vaccines to arrive this week. And Andali caught unprepared by lockdown. Good morning. 11 new positive cases of COVID-19 were recorded yesterday following another 2,974 tests. The first six are related to the Vunimono Nandali cluster and were at home in isolation. The next five are household contacts of a previous case. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says they have been in quarantine facility in Osori and tested negative for their entry swabs while being admitted to the facility but now have tested positive for their second swabs in quarantine. Three previously infected patients have recovered. This means there are currently 57 active cases in home isolation or quarantine facilities. Fiji now has more vaccines through COVAX and will receive further deliveries from Australia and New Zealand later this week. By the end of the week, Fiji will have approximately 86,000 doses. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says they will be able to begin the next round of inoculation by next week. Dr. Fong adds their priority will be to provide first dose inoculation to the rest of the frontline workers, including those who have a higher level of public contact in their employment. These include taxi and bus drivers and those working in supermarkets, Fijians living in densely populated areas, and to individuals who are particularly vulnerable because of age, compromised immunity, and certain chronic illnesses. He adds the ministry will also complete the vaccination process for those who have already received their first dose. The vaccination plan includes taking vaccines to Fijians through mobile units. People in Antali outside Nosori say they were caught off guard by the 14-day extension of the lockdown in the area. One resident, Waisile Tingatambua, says most of them were not prepared with food rations and other family needs to last the next two weeks. Tingatambua says families in the area had no time to come out of the four-day lockdown and prepare before going into another lockdown. We were not prepared for the lockdown because the four-day full lockdown was lifted early this morning and we had no time to prepare. We are staying in our own piece of land. And uh, at around midday, the whole Nandali area was cordoned off and swab test continues. The Fiji police force says a person caught impersonating a policeman for three weeks took advantage of a situation created by COVID-19. Acting Commissioner Rusia Tundravu says with more than 3,000 officers on the ground, he can't rule out the failure of a proper audit. The man was pretending to be a cop at the Rewanga police station in Suva. The impersonator managed to convince officers that he was locked out of Singatoka due to movement restrictions and decided to report for work in Suva. Tudravu says the man is being charged. The force is responsible to fixing its practices so that such an incident is prevented in the future. Our internal uh, investigation is going on to just to just just to try and see what went wrong and then uh, get it improved. Mental health remains priority for a youth-led organization during this COVID outbreak. The Alliance for Future Generation hosted a Zoom session where more than 80 people registered their interest to participate. Coordinator Lavetanalangi Seru says many young people have lost their jobs and rented homes during this pandemic and are trying to cope with the new reality. Seru also highlighted the need to be connected in a time when physical distancing saves lives. So this is also a time that we need to you know, become more uh, closer to each other. We need to reach out more to our friends and to our families and check up on them frequently and also be able to provide the kind of positive support that some of them may need. With school closed and movement restricted, students and teachers are unable to keep up with their curriculum. 
However, this is not the case for 15 students and four teachers of Mother Secondary School stranded in Suva for a month now. School cricket team manager Vunise Taufa says they are using this opportunity to learn and undertake various assignments put together by the Education Ministry. She adds they had travelled to Vitilevu to participate in a cricket tournament last month. Taufa says lockdown says the lockdown rather has served as good exposure for seniors who will soon take up studies in various tertiary institutions in Vitilevu. After breakfast, we have to do assignment from 10 to 12. So by now, all the assignments have been done. And we thank the Ministry of Education for also uh, uh, having our worksheets from uh, year 1 to year 13. With thousands of people staying at home due to the COVID-19 safety measures, more Fijians than ever have surfing, are surfing the internet on some form of a smart device. With demand for data higher than last year's COVID scare, internet providers are trying to ensure reliable supply across the country. Vodafone Fiji has around 800,000 subscribers with 80% on smartphones actively using the internet. Digital Fiji CEO Farid Mohammed says more companies having to adopt work from home measures has seen an increase in data traffic by more than 100%. Telecom Fiji says the bulk of data consumption is for video streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime as well as social media sites. It also noted a spike in online video conferencing tools. From 18 April, the overall traffic on our network has increased uh, progressively. As of early this week, data consumption has almost uh, doubled. This is obviously due to the uh, fact that more people are now staying at home. The Ministry of Environment is working towards adopting practices that protect, manage and restore nature and preserving our pristine environment. Permanent Secretary Joshua Wycliffe in commemorating the National Dialogue on Boost Nature Positive Production this morning says yesterday morning rather says they're discouraging deforestation and other activities that would harm the environment. Wycliffe highlighted the importance of restoring degraded tropical forest landscapes in mitigating the impact of climate change on our biodiversity. Agroecological practices uh, such as conservation agriculture, agroforestry and regenerative agriculture can and will restore and maintain ecosystem services like soil health, flowing waterways and the ability to keep carbon out of the atmosphere. The Olympic Games may just be 69 days away, but the doors to the Summer Games haven't completely closed for some athletes. Team Fiji chef Dimission Patrick Bauer says representatives who may not make it on merit can qualify through the Oceania selection quota. Aquila Dama with the details. A 54-member team is expected to represent Fiji at this year's Tokyo Olympic Games. So I would say uh, definitely we're, we're very positive about moving ahead and looking at probably taking a team of 54 with those who are yet to qualify. While Team Fiji is yet to finalize its squad, Japan continues to prepare for the Games. The International Olympic Committee president delivered an inspirational message with the Games torch in Hiroshima. From Hiroshima, the Olympic flame will carry this powerful message of peace to Tokyo and then from Tokyo on the 23rd of July to the entire world. Only rugby sevens and sailing are the confirmed Team Fiji sports for the Olympics at the moment. Aquila Vama, FBC Sports. Archery Fiji hopes one of the three archers will get a chance to qualify for the Tokyo Olympic Games through merit. The last five qualifying rounds now looks highly unlikely as the pandemic casts doubt over its commencement. Secretary Ajay Balu says this will boil down to World Archery Oceania making the final say according to the points of the archers in the region. Well, normally what happens is uh, they give it to the country that's already there. We, we, normally we, we, can, we want somebody to qualify on merit so that you know it's like it's clear. If it goes to the Oceania uh, Archery Association then like uh, anyone can get the spot. Eh?
Taking a look at the weather, cloudy periods with brief showers over the eastern parts and interior of Viti Levu and Vanua Levu, Kandavu, Lomai Viti and Taveuni. Elsewhere, mostly cloudy conditions with possible afternoon showers. That's FPC Morning News. Join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FPC's TV, radio and digital news at fpcnews.com.fj. Take care and good morning.